Janet Chekoti runs a coffee farm in eastern Uganda. But this year, her crop has suffered as the effects of global environmental shifts take hold. It was in September when the blight came in and the CBD mixed up and all the coffee dropped. It dried and dropped. Chekwote estimates that she lost about 600 kilograms of coffee beans this year. Ugandan farmers mainly depend on rain-fed agriculture, a practice that is becoming unsustainable. In the last 12 months, Uganda exported 5.85 million bags of coffee, down from 6.5 million bags the previous year, leading the country's government to look towards alternative methods. We are going to to to, to shift to to to, to, to ir irrigation. Now, as for the pests and so on, there are only solutions. There are only solutions because, for instance, uh, through research, we can develop uh, pest-resistant types. The government says it wants to triple the volume of coffee Uganda produces each year. The private sector is now supporting at the farm level, as well as setting up demonstration farms they are also giving farmers tips on how to ward off the effects of drought by planting more shade trees in their plantations. Quality in your cultivation, quality in your agroforestry leads to quality crops, quality cherries, quality processing, and then ultimately a cup of coffee that's delicious, which is what we all want. Farmers are adapting, but they say they want to ensure Uganda's reputation remains revered. These cherries are carefully hand-picked to meet international standards. Farmers here believe, apart from meeting the government target of 20 million bags by 2030, quality is paramount. With coffee exports already worth upwards $800 million a year, both the government and the private sector say they are looking for new markets and place more money in the pockets of farmers like Janet Chikwoti. Hilara Iska, CGTN. Capture Eastern Uganda.